I will be demonstrating how to run the Hermes relayer between two chains. The first thing we need to do is to set up the configuration file. So we just go to config.tumble. And as you can see at the top, there are some global configuration settings. These settings can be found in Hermes's repository as an example file. So I haven't changed them that much. What's really important is to set up the chains correctly. So as you can see at the bottom, I've added two chains. Uh, the first chain I added is Theta Testnet 001, which is the Cosmos Hub Testnet. What's really important is I have to write gRPC and RPC endpoints. And also for the event source, I've added a WebSocket URL. Um, if you don't have a WebSocket URL, which is sometimes the case, then there's another option, which we'll see below. Um, and the second chain I added is Osmo Test 5, which is Osmo as a testnet. And I have, again, a gRPC and an RPC address. And this time for event source, I actually decided to use the RPC endpoint by put, setting the mode to pool, because in this case, I don't have a WebSocket URL. Um, and other than that, we also need to look at um, the key name. So this is the key we are going to be using to submit transactions into both chains. In this case, the, the key name for Cosmos Hub Testnet is Charlie Cosmos. And the key name for Osmosis is Charlie Osmo. I haven't actually set up these keys yet. So these are just names at this point, which I'll set up later. And all the other settings can usually be found in the documentation of these uh, networks. Or you can also find example Hermes configurations uh, on GitHub. So let's just go into uh, running the relayer. And the first thing we need to do is to actually set up um, the keys. So the way we can do that is we just say Hermes, and then we need to set up the configuration file. So let's just say we are going to use the config file in this directory, so config.toml. And then we are going to add keys, so keys add. And the key we are going to add to is to, let's say we are going to add it to the theta testnet. So, so theta test net 001 and the mnemonic file. So I'm going to use a mnemonic file to add the keys. So in this case, it's going to be charlie.mnemonic. And I didn't actually enter the key name because it's going to take it from the config and automatically do that. As we can see, we have actually added this successfully. Now we do the same thing for uh, osmosis testnet. So chain ID is going to be osmo test five. And we're going to, we are going to use the same uh, charlie mnemonic. Okay, so now we have set up the keys uh, and we can run the relayer. So the way we do that is we just say Hermes start, uh, but also de define the configuration file since we are not using the default configuration directory. And now Hermes is just going to query both chains and uh, you know perform various health checks and scan the chains. And after that, Hermes should just start normally.